uh, in this video, we would like to answer uh, a very important uh, question. In the previous video, with, uh, which we compare between the uh, shunt and the series motor, we have shown that the speed torque characteristic, and we said that, uh, we did that with using some simulation, that the shunt motor has a linear relationship and a much better speed regulation than the series motor that we has like an uh, exponential decaying uh, curve. The question is, why is that? Why the shunt motor behaves like a linear and the series motor behaves like a linear? All, all what we have done is just uh, moving the shunt field winding in and make it in uh, and make it in series with the with the armature. So here the field winding is in parallel with the armature winding. Here it's in series. How such a change makes such a huge difference in the characteristic of the two motors? So let's start and see how we can derive the formula and come up with this conclusion. And we will start from the fundamental, from the basics, and we will build on that. If I have a piece of metal, and if this piece of metal is moving with a velocity v, with a length l, then and in the magnetic field B, then there will be an induced voltage equal to V cross B dot L. So basically the induced voltage is a function of two things, the velocity and the magnetic field. On the other hand, if I have same metal uh, metallic rod, and if I uh, have a current in that rod, and that rod is in a magnetic field, there will be a force on it, and this force equal to L, the length, cross B to times I. So basically, the force that is imposed on the, on the rod is a function of the magnetic field as well as the, the current. Okay, now if we go from this simple rod to a rotor, the formula will be actually modified as such that the induced voltage is equal to constant, and this constant comes from different things. Uh, for example, here is the length is a constant times the flux, and the flux here basically is represented as B, the magnetic field. And omega, omega is the rotational speed. Here it was a linear speed, but because in the, in the motor it rotates, it will be omega. So, Phi and omega represent the V and, and the B. And here we have the force when we have a linear motion, but we when we have a rotation, we'll have a torque, which is the force times the radius of the, of the rotation. And again, it is a constant times the flux, which is B, times IA, which is the armature current, or, or I. So these are the two relationships for actual actual motors. So we'll, we'll use these two relationships and now let's move on and see how we the shunt motor behaves uh, differently than the series motor when it comes to the speed torque characteristic. So start from the basic. This is the shunt motor. We have the field winding with RF in parallel with RA and EA. And we have IS. This is the supply current. We have IF and we have IA. Now, if we take a KVL in the outer loop, we will have VA, the supplied voltage equal to the induced voltage EA, plus IA, RA, simple KVL. This is a very simple KVL. But from the previous relationship, we said that EA is equal to a constant phi times omega, and the torque is equal to constant phi times IA. So now let's, let's substitute EA with its value and let's substitute IA with its value, which is the torque divided by Km phi. So we will have this relationship that the VA is equal to Km phi omega instead of EA plus RA times E -A I A, which is the torque divided by Km and, and the flux. Now, I want to have a relationship between the speed and the torque. So we'll have the speed in one side of the equation and the torque in the other side of the equation. 
and we will have this relationship omega equal to VA over KM phi, which is this part, minus RA TA over KM phi squared. Now, if VA is constant, if the voltage that we apply is constant, it means that the flux, because the flux or IF is a function of that voltage. So if I keep this voltage constant, I don't change R A R F, then in the, then the flux will be constant. So it means that V A, K M, and the phi, and of course R A, all these are constants. So now I will have a relationship between omega and the torque with two constants, and the relationship becomes as such. Omega equal to a constant K1 minus K2 times the torque. And this is why for the shunt motor, we have this linear relationship. It has a negative slope, which is the K2. And at no load, when there's no torque, when TE is equal to zero, the no load speed is VA over KM times, uh, times phi. So that explains the linear relationship that we have it in the shunt motor. Let's go to the series motor. Now, in the series motor, the field and the armature, they are in series. So my KVL equation, VA, equal to EA plus IA or IF, but now, now I will call it IA times RA plus RF, because IF and IA is exactly the same, because everything is in series. Now. EA, as we know it, equal to KM phi times omega. But phi is also proportional with IA now. So we can multiply the proportional constant of the flux with IA with KM to get another constant K. So now my EA is equal to a constant K times IA. Now not IF anymore and omega. Then VA, we substitute the value of EA here equal to k i a omega plus i a r a plus r f same thing okay very good however also we have a relationship between i a and the torque we so before that this is your omega now i just uh, rearranged the equation so your omega equal to v a over k i a minus r f plus R A divided by I A K A, and we will cancel I A with I A, so we have this equation. Now, the torque basically is proportional, as we have seen before, with constant, the flux, and the armature current. But the flux itself is proportional with I A, so the torque now is proportional to I A squared, or I A is equal to torque over k under the square root. So now I will substitute the value of IA here with this value, and this will lead to the nonlinear relationship. So your omega equal to VA over square root of k TE minus a constant value. But here the relationship is they are inversely proportion under the square root, the, the, the torque. And we will end up having this, this relationship. 